Hi guys, today Akira Tamir is with me. So we'll be talking about BIM. I know majorly uh, when you apply for different roles, there is BIM architect role, BIM coordinators role, and BIM managers role. So what do what is the difference and what do these guys do? BIM architect is nothing but you will be specifically working on architectural part, except that we will be predominantly using Revit software. So while you are developing your model itself, you will get to know what is the other discipline. Uh, H V A C or mechanical, electrical, how it is going to impact your model. So when you update your model, the other guy will will be able to see your updates and they will update their model accordingly. You just have to be aware of how Revit software works, basic understanding of BIM 360 and families. So you don't need to be uh, expert at everything. But if you know Revit, Revit is mandatory. So once you know Revit, you can work as a BIM architect. BIM coordinator. most of the companies some companies what they do they will specifically they will be assigned a specific project their main agenda will be to produce a clash free model so internally they will make sure there is no clashes they will have they will have weekly meeting so they will make sure the model is free of clashes so they will send a clash report to internal team and some cases in some companies what happens bim coordinator will directly uh, involve with the client and they will divide the clashes based on the priorities some clashes cannot be avoided say for structure we will not, will not be able to reroute it but if it is a small clash like pipes we can reroute it so they will divide the clashes accordingly and they will submit a report to client so based on that they will take up the decision so to 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 find the clashes the software they will majorly use is navisworks and nowadays they are using bim 360 because you have a better interface and while me, while we having meeting only you will be able to assign the clashes to the particular person so that during the meeting they will be able to resolve the clashes so the objective will be to reduce the clashes as much as possible so this is bim coordinator's role and sometimes what happens bim coordinators itself will act like a bim managers if they have to be a, they have to have a, a revit families they have to have a bim library and apart from that they have to be they are, they, are, they should be able to solve the issues of you know if the team is having some issues with the software they will be they should be able to solve it and bim manager takes the entire uh, control of the team process so to set the standards the templates if there is any issue with the bim process bim manager will be responsible if if they are not able to solve the issue they have to get the help of uh, auto auto desk or someone so this is basically what these people will do so bim the process nowadays like almost all the companies are shifting to bim the reason is that it uh, during the design stage itself it saves a lot of uh, usually what happens before and all the clashes and everything will be checked at the later stages they will combine the model the, now what happens all these clashes they will checked at the initial stage which saves you know uh, later on all the issues will be solved at the initial stage only so this saves a lot of uh, time communication also that's why all most of the companies they are shifting to bim so you have anything to say anything about bim th- yeah obviously it's actually bim 360 to say like uh, bim 360 is a very good you know platform where like from revit i'm only talking about bim 360 right now uh, for so long we are talking about revit and now we are going to just speak about elaborate about bim 360 so basically in bim 360 as you said bim coordinate coordinators would work like most of the time they work in bim 360 it's actually a very good platform where you can uh, hire people according to their specialization for example you can get hired uh, according to your specialization as well so if you are going to be an architect like you can even be a bim coordinator in architect's role so architect special specialization you are going to look in at the same time there will be uh, the same role like towards your right side or to near you there will be a person who is checking for structure and structure he will be you know checking he is he is done a civil engineering and he has the experience into you know revit software and uh, structure uh, kind of thing so he is, does that at the same time a mechanical person who is with the knowledge of plumbing so he used to check all the plumbing lines he used to review all the plumbing lines so the all these people what they'll do is they don't do model basically they don't work on the model already the models would be worked from by a consultant in revit so that models will come to our room so our so over there we have to check all these stuff so bim coordinators would do these kind of stuff basically so you can you can get hired according to your 
like uh, whatever you have studied and according to your specialization basically what do you want to be so this is also a very good you know in that your job is basically to just find issues of the model and how things are working so i uh, suppose you know, i'm an architect basically so i work for discipline architecture discipline so i would check all the you know finishes and all the columns like for basically columns and beams are checked by structure as well at the same time we check about the you know fsi and how how things work like everything from the finishes to the you know there are lots of uh, you know rec- like disciplines in the, that also the same way so this is a basic thing what bim coordinator and the team does basically so bim 360 is a major tool which we use in the you know process to do all things uh, accordingly and you can get hired or uh, if you if you if you are into if you want to go to revit you can just get hired and then in some companies in initial packages for you know architects and even civil people they are hiring freshers also they are literally hiring freshers and they give you the training there are some mncs where they are hiring freshers and they are giving us the training and india is probably in a very good pace shifting into bim right now and i am really happy to say this at the moment that our phase 2 of metro rail which uh, people are working in uh, bim uh, only the phase 1 was actually they were working in autocad and however the old school things were, were done but the phase 2 which is there like around uh, 150 to 170 stations with the which they are going to do that is a lot everything is going to be in bim so if at all if required like we will make another video about bim 360 if you are interested but uh, i think pretty much i have given overview in the last video about bim 360 so if at all if required software related like we will go in detail in the upcoming videos so i hope this video was helpful in some way thank you see you next video thank you guys uh, it's great to speak to you actually uh, with hafil and about this this actually a right opportunity where you know people can you know grasp and get in so all the best and we can catch you in the next video